At 8am on August 30, 2013, Karen and Michael S. Pisa answered a knock at their front door. A California Highway Patrol officer asked the couple if they owned a 2003 beige Toyota Highlander, and when they said their son had been driving it, he informed them that the vehicle had been found abandoned in Castaic Lake, off an access road to the state recreation area. It had crashed and was discovered on its side at the bottom of a 25 degree embankment adjacent to the lake's main boat access road. Weeks earlier, Sierra College student Bryceless Pisa began acting strange around his friends. He had unexpectedly broken up with his girlfriend over text and had given away his Xbox and a pair of diamond earrings. He had begun drinking heavily and using ADHD drugs in order to stay awake. Bryce's roommate contacted Karen about her son's increasingly erratic behaviour on August 28. A couple of hours later, Bryce himself called his mother. He was at his now ex-girlfriend's home and she had taken his car keys as she was worried about his well-being. Bryce insisted that he was fine and his keys were eventually returned. He left shortly after 11.30pm. The next morning, Bryce's parents received an automated message from their auto insurance provider regarding roadside assistance being needed for one of their vehicles. Concerned, Karen called her son's roommate who said that Bryce had not returned home the night before. Karen tried calling her son, but he didn't answer. Looking at their credit card statement, Phyllis Pieces learnt that Bryce had been in Button Willow, a small town a few hours from their Laguna Niguel home. They assumed that their son was on his way to their house. They called the repair shop that had shown up on their card, and the man working there said that Bryce had run out of gas, so he delivered three gallons to him. Sensing that Karen was concerned, the man offered to go and check if Bryce was still in the area. The man was surprised to find the 19-year-old in the exact same spot he was three hours earlier. Bryce seemed surprised to see the man too, but even more so when the man handed Bryce his cell phone to talk to his mother. Bryce told Karen that there was nothing wrong. Karen told her son to make sure he had enough gas and to return home. Expecting him to be home at around 3pm, Karen and Mike grew increasingly concerned as the day went on, and Bryce still not had arrived. They called him numerous times, but he failed to answer. At 6pm, they filed a missing persons report with the Orange County Sheriff's Department. The police pinged Bryce's cell phone and learned of his location. Ten hours after calling for roadside assistance, Bryceless Pisa was still in Button Willow. Two deputies were sent to check on the college student. He was parked near Interstate 5, According to the deputies, Bryce was polite and cooperative and told him he was just blowing off some steam before he would make the drive home. The deputies had him get out of the car and perform some field sobriety tests on him, which he passed easily. They searched his car but didn't find any drugs or alcohol. Before the police left, they told Bryce to call his mother, but he seemed reluctant to do so. One of the officers called Karen himself and assured her that Bryce seemed fine. She spoke briefly with her son, telling him to get something to eat and then get back on the road. Bryce said that he would, for deputies left, satisfied that Bryce was ready to drive home. A few hours later, the man from the repair shop drove by and saw Bryce still parked in the exact same location he was in 13 hours later. He called Karen and updated her on the situation. Bryce purchased a soda at a gas station and told the man that he was going to finally drive home. He left Button Willow and turned onto Interstate 5. The man followed him for 10 miles and decided that everything appeared fine. He called Karen to tell her that Bryce was on the way to Laguna Niguel. At 2.09pm, Bryce called his mother and told her that he was too tired to continue driving and that he was going to pull over to take a nap. At 2.15am, a surveillance camera captured Bryce driving up the hill that leads to the Castaic Lake Recreation Area. Then, at 4.29am, Bryce passed by the camera again. There are no cameras tracking cars as they come down the hill, so it is unknown how long Bryce had been at the top of the hill the first time he was seen. What Bryce was doing, and why he went up the hill again, remains a mystery, however investigators believe that he was contemplating something. At 5.30am, a highway patrol officer discovered Bryce's crashed vehicle. The back window had been broken from the inside, Bryce was nowhere to be found. It is likely that he had been inside at the time of the crash and broken his way out. His blood was found on the passenger headrest and on the back seat, 
but there was no signs that he had sustained serious injury. His laptop and phone were left in the car, while his duffel bag and wallet were outside, near the rear window. His bag had been unzipped and looked as though someone had rummaged through it. After examining the scene, investigators determined that Bryceless Pisa had deliberately driven his vehicle off the embankment. What still remains a mystery is why, and where did he go afterwards? A large-scale search was conducted of the area. Hundreds of deputies and volunteers, as well as cadaver dogs and divers, took part. The hills and lake were searched, but it was unsuccessful. Taking Bryce's troubling behaviour in the weeks leading up to the crash into account, detectives considered that the college student was experiencing a crisis, possibly caused by his heavy drinking and drug use, leading him to either want to harm himself or run away. His parents disputed this theory and claimed that their son had sounded completely normal when speaking to him on the phone. Bloodhounds caught Bryce's scent and followed it to a dam on the lake, trailed it across the dam and down south, towards the west side of the lake, before finally going towards a truck stop. Investigators considered that Bryce may have gotten a ride with a truck driver after leaving his old life behind. Multiple searches were conducted in Castaic Lake on the theory that Bryce may have entered the lake after the crash. Sonar specialists and dive teams were unable to find any evidence that Bryce was in the lake. There have been no confirmed sightings of Bryceless Pisa, his disappearance remains a mystery.